Yo, what is good? My anime what is good to you? Guys, my lord, we are uh, getting some interesting stuff popping off within the Railgun series of certain magical index, which I didn't fully had planned to go into depth on or do a review for just because I wasn't the hugest fan of Misaka just as um, her story progression of her bad like villains usually go after her clones all the time or they're like the easiest target for people to go for to um, get just any type of bad blood with her Overall, though, I kind of, um, kind of understood why I enjoy just the characters of this series is because there's, there's interesting touch of storytelling from all of them that you can kind of feel amongst the entire series in the case of, it's, it's in all of them in the case of, uh, sorry, most ways that they elaborate the follow-ups for all the fighting for all the reasons why characters go through with what they're going through and the reasons they build up uh just you know courage or not even courage just the the will to step forward the will to you know make sure they take out and do whatever they truly can at the in, end of the day because right now seeing Misaka throughout all of these episodes not really be able to be herself towards the end here um, towards the where we are in the latest episode just uh, neutralizing all of her options was a very smart thing to do but to imagine her still not really taking much of a plunge like forward or you know trying to actually take out her opponents and figure out what they're truly up to when her friends her friends actually got their minds wiped she still didn't really take a leap forward right which was pretty telling of how much uh discourage or how little confidence she had in handling the situation with ease and being able to take care of her friends so if you look at it that way it's kind of sketchy right like even they neutralize Mikasa super fast someone that can pretty much scale and go around the entire city like spider-man or spider-woman or gwen stacy whoever you like just zipping around with her Electric look absolutely hype throughout the whole entire, um, you know, her parts of just moving around, getting about. But the thing that actually gets me interested with the show is the fact that a lot of these characters may show up in um, the main like series, and they might just have some weird role, and they'll be like, "Oh, by the way, here comes this very powerful." you know water user that's from my school and people who don't really care to check out all the series and to see these moments uh, even if they seem basic I feel like this show and how they place everything throughout the series of it in general all these characters have a potential chance of showing up randomly maybe not necessarily ending the whole conflict of something popping off but definitely being the ones that can at least buy some time or step up to help uh, our teammates and stuff like that. And it won't feel too just out there because we know that's what they've done in previous uh, episodes. So very smart on their part to continue to elaborate just how ridiculously um, powerful most of the characters are throughout the friendship that we have with our girls not just um, the fact that the school has a ridiculous amount of powerful people but 
it looks like they can be easily manipulated and tricked into doing stuff so the one person I'm truly afraid of is this O queen that she calls has her um, followers call her it's pretty sketchy not only do you fully just do what you're told in a set manner but after you get into that set manner you're practically stuck until someone kind of snaps you out of it which we see with these paramedics one time having them kind of break out of their cycle of who and what happened during their trip uh, during this area that uh, railgun was pretty much telling them they did but they didn't believe her because now all of a sudden they're like wait a minute if you're Mikasa and you can do stuff with electronics what did, what's stopping us from believing you didn't just tamper with it right now blah 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 so that's where the show shines is making even uh, the smallest no name characters do something to the story to push it forward narratively they don't none of the actions that seemingly pop off have no uh repercussions you know like they actually lead up to something usually so i think that's one thing i truly enjoyed and i'm truly gonna miss about not being able to watch just like seven episodes or six episodes back to back right <sighs> the times of the lucky people who get to wait for the dub <laughs> and they just all of a sudden look like, oh, whoa, weird. There, there's like 12 episodes, 15 episodes of this anime dubbed. I'm just going to watch all of it. Lucky, lucky. I don't know what that feels like. But as a whole, I really did like seeing her push to her limit because it was kind of questionable for me in the case of just what and why or how would be the trigger for Mikasa to absolutely just start destroying and wrecking house with everybody. And it looks like I found that answer relatively quickly, quicker than I expected. So, all that being said, I hope everybody is having an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. Let me know if you're enjoying this uh, version of the show instead of Accelerator, instead of my boy canceling stuff, which we do see in this, uh, in this show. <laughs> And of course that noise of his that he just does when he cancels out abilities always is an amazing sound to hear for me. It's just nostalgic, I guess you can say. So overall, I definitely want to hear what you guys are feeling about this. If you are mad at me for not reviewing it, you should have asked for it earlier. I did watch it just all now, so it's all pretty fresh on my brain and stuff. So ask me any questions or let me know what you're feeling about it, and I'll talk to you in the next one. I am your anime G, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.